This is the Maxi Climber XL2000. This is the one with hydraulics. It accommodates individuals up to six foot six inches tall, 300 pounds. Here's the contents laid out, approximately where they'll be assembled at. Couple things you want to make sure you don't miss when unpacking is the brace for the cell phone holder. It's taped to the back of a piece of styrofoam. It comes with a manual. At the bottom, the two pipes are the legs, a little pack of tools, two pedals with a strap. Of course, the core centerpiece. There's left and right arms for exercising and two additional arms just for like to get on and off the machine. Step one is to loosen this knob. Just go ahead and remove it from the back of the unit. Pull the sides apart to turn it into like an A-frame and push this down so it's straight. And now the thing you removed, we're going to screw in place to keep the frame open. We're going to attach this cable. You have to move this bar up and now feed this through that section. Make sure it's under the bar. Connect it to the post and put on nut 24 from your toolkit. Lift up the front and place the front leg there. Line up the holes appropriately. There, we've inserted the bolt. The washers are curved to match the pipe. And tighten. You want to do the same to the back bar, the straight bar, and you see there's an arrow showing which way is up. And the same thing, put the vent washers on, and then the nuts. So tighten the nuts, but you don't want to over tighten. You could actually warp the bar, perhaps. To assemble the pedals, look for the strap that has an R or an L to match the pedal. Rounded side is going to be at top. You're going to snap each side onto the little nub, and you may have to work to get them in there. And this one is, it, so you want to put your foot in, make sure it's adjusted for you, and connect both sides. Here's one of the assembled foot pads, the left one. We have the short end on the outside of the foot, curved on top, and then the other side. We're attaching the left pedal. You can start with your fingers, then you'll have to finish the job with the wrench. Okay. And now the right side. We're going to attach the handlebars. First, you have to remove the pre-installed bolts here and here. Slide the handlebar on so the holes match up and insert the bolts and tighten them. We have the left side done. The instructions show that the bolts 59 and 20 should both have a washer. Our kit did not contain enough washers, so we just have washers for 59. For both adjusting tubes, remove the top, completely remove the knob. Insert the bar with the handle, and you'll have to figure out the height you want, and then insert the knob and tighten it. Okay, we're installing the cell phone holder. Just screw both sides in. The assembly instructions show using washers, but our kit only came with one, not two. The actual cell phone bracket removed the pre-installed bolt. So the top rotates, so it doesn't really matter which way it goes. And tighten the bottom. Note, to use it, you pull out one side, it expands to grab your phone. We're going to remove the knob from the hydraulics, extend it to move it over to the other side and attach it. So this is the storage position, this is the in-use position. Doing the exact same thing to the other side. This time we had to push in the hydraulic bar. To adjust the hydraulic tension, see this number here? See the arrow? That would be low, and if you dial it all the way to 12, that would be high. I'm gonna leave it on low, and of course you wanna make sure both sides are set to the same number. There's the hydraulics in use. So our display on the little counter has no the LED does not show up. We think the battery is just dead, so we're 
you just basically pop it out and you have it's very hard to get the battery out you had to use a, a little flat tip screwdriver to pop it sort of down and out and it's an lr44 battery we switched out the battery with one from another device we have see down the bottom it's in scan mode it's going to go through all the modes so the computer is very very simple go through all the modes by pressing the red button hold the button down to reset it zero everything back out on the back of the right bar is a little square magnet here it goes down in here to a sensor and that counts the reps very simple to store the device you would remove the knobs move each bar back to the storage area on both sides put the knobs back in then remove this knob and carefully pull it up to collapse it and there's our finished product there's a maxi climber fitness app that you can install on your phone or mobile device locate the app and there's what it looks like install it open it you can log in with Twitter or Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and create an account. So I'm going to tap sign up right here on the right. Once you've logged in, you can select your workout. You can also tap the menu bars at the top right. And there's a tour. You can just go through it. Seems like an advertisement. Check out your profile. You can enter information if you want. Hit save, goals, you can set a start and end date, and frequency, set goal. There's progress, I have no progress yet, but it'll show you your calories, and if you hit start training, it goes back to the workout menu. There's meal plans, that's pretty interesting actually, very nice. You can visit the Maxi Climber store. Check out the user manual. Very nice. Terms and conditions, privacy, warning statements, facts, and there's some settings. Set your language if you'd like English or metric units and miles or kilometers. Set that up and hit save. Go back to start. Now that I'm back at the start or home page, I'm going to take a look at one of the routines. I'll select hit routine. I'll select 10 minutes. Welcome to the Maxi Climber. Down at the bottom, it shows how long each section is and it counts down. Fitness app. My name is Mark Harari and I'm going to be your trainer for these next 10 amazing minutes up on that Maxi Climber. Let's get started. Started, my friend. So that's very nice. Nice encouraging coach to guide you through your workout session. So you can check out the different workouts and you can log out or just close the app. I hope this is helpful.